Jordan is mostly arid and semi-arid land. 90% uh, of the land is as such, and 1% only of the land is forests. So uh, most of the land is degraded, whether it is uh, the uh, rangelands or the forests. Uh, however, because the size of the rangelands in Jordan, uh, I think it would be really a good idea to uh, concentrate on uh, rangelands and do restoration in that part uh, and in the desert. And f because the this would lead into uh, land restoration, uh, the use of uh, native plants would help in uh, groundwater recharge, eventual groundwater recharge. in the Badia, when uh, rain falls, most of the water runs off and uh, gets evaporated. And the water that reaches to the dams, also uh, uh, most of it uh, uh, evaporates. So it's very important to keep the water or the rainfall where it stays. So use the use of uh, water micro-harvesting techniques, uh, coupled with uh, the use of uh, native seedlings that are of high quality, as well as inclusion of local communities. زي ما عارفين احنا ابناء بادية نربي الكثير من المواشي لذلك لازم نهتم اكثر بالقطاع النباتي لازم ننشر الوعي اكثر للقطاع النباتي لازم نوقف التسحر لانه احنا المواشي ترعى الاكثر على القطاع النباتي لانه لازم يكون عندنا مواشي عشان يكون عندنا لحوم عشان يكون عندنا البان لانه احنا اللي راح نستفيد اذا ما احنا اهتمينا بالامور هاي راح يصير تسحر ويزيد التسحر مع الايام There are several reasons for the desertification or the degraded areas in, in Jordan. We can summarize it as changing in the lifestyle of the Bedouin living there, over exploitation of vegetation cover, over grazing, and replacing the tradition or the nature vegetation with a new um, land practices, such as barley cultivation in those areas. Climate change also has an added value to the causes of land degradation in Jordan. Our approach is to uh, treat each uh, landscape in, uh, with the vegetation cover that we can return the soil and use part of the rainfall amount to uh, grow vegetation into those areas. Not only to provide local community with fodder for their livestock, but as well as trying to improve several ecosystem services such as uh, carbon storage and sequestration and others, many others.
the Sabha Reserve in which we stand right now has an area of 10,000 acres. It includes four types of native plants. The native plants have been carefully thought of from the process of seed collecting to the preparation of the medium to sowing and finally to planting. The success rate of these plants is 85%, which is considered a very high percentage, and they are only they only need to be watered once, uh, which is also uh, reducing the amount of water needed uh, uh, for the uh, irrigation of uh, the green areas. Uh, part of our success depends heavily on engaging uh, uh, the local community as well, because Wadi consider them uh, a very important uh, and key stakeholder. Wadi's mission does not only focus on the recharge of underground water, but also the increasing of the green cover to combat uh, desertification. And uh, it also focuses on uh, the totality of the ecosystem. So we're working on the water, we're working on the uh, green cover, and we're working also uh, um, uh, with the habitats of the creatures, from insects to animals and uh, all uh, living uh, uh, parts of that, of that ecosystem. Uh, this is part also of our um, national and regional and international responsibility uh, to mitigating climate change uh, and uh, achieving sustainability.